In today's video, we're going to look at the C-123 helicopter from Ready to Run Hobbies. Going to unbox it, take a quick look at it, and take it out for a flight test. And then do some stunts with this as well. This is supposed to be able to be kind of a stunt helicopter. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be an unboxing and flight of the C-123 that I got from Ready to Run Hobbies. I also got another name as the EC-135 right there. So we're going to quickly unbox this, uh, look at a couple of things with this, and then get this out and take it for a flight. You guys see it does have a gyro in there for a stabilization. Now this does come in two colors, so you can get two colors with it. Of course, I got the blue and uh, red and white one right there. Get your instruction manual with it. You do get one battery. You do have ports for two other batteries. So there's probably a version out there somewhere where you can get up to three batteries with this. But this has one battery with it. You guys see here, you get some tools with it. You get a USB port to charge this up. You get a couple extra decals with it. And then you get the helicopter. So I'm going to actually take this out real quick. And taking this out, you do have the radio here. I do believe this uses uh, four to six double A's in here. It uses four double A's back there. So I'll get those installed in there to get this up and get this flying. This is a six channel radio. And you can do a couple little stunts and stuff with this helicopter as well. At least that's what it says in the uh, instructions and kind of some of the information online for it. So we'll take that and test that as well. And this is going to be the battery for it. Uh, let's see here. Get this to focus in a little bit. Uh, this is a 400 milliamp, uh, battery for it, but it's a 3S. So that's pretty interesting. So this have, this gotta be pretty fast with this. So we'll get this charged up too. It says charging time for about an hour to get this charged fully, but may be able to charge it faster if you have one of those rapid or fast chargers and stuff. And this is going to be a look at the helicopter. So it's pretty light. I think this should be fine for flying outdoors and stuff as well. The biggest test is just going to be taking this out and flying because I am going to fly it outdoors. Uh, probably have a couple of my friends fly it while I'm flying it too, and then we'll give some uh, thoughts on it as we're flying it. So uh, the battery is going to probably go in below right there where this kind of clips off. But the detail of this is pretty good with this. So anyway, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. The biggest thing about a lot of these things is the flight flies the outside and especially with a little bit of wind and stuff like it's about 90 degrees today or so today i think the wind's like two degrees or two or three miles per hour so it shouldn't be too bad out there so let me get this battery charged up and then let me go ahead and get this for a flight all right so of course you have to get everything set up so i was out there with some friends and we decided to go ahead and give this a try so we went ahead and got this calibrated and stuff and that's what you're seeing right here then of course we're taking it out for the flight now a friend of mine flew this and then i flew it so i needed to film while he flew it and then of course we went back and then i flew it by myself so i can give you uh first person points of view of flying this now when he flew this here there's three speed modes for it this is mode one and i think the wind was about five to seven miles per hour so it was a little bit unstable going outside like this but once we put it to speed three which you'll see a little bit later on it actually flew a lot better it was able to fly outside pretty good especially with the wind and stuff blowing you guys see this here a lot of cars around there uh, i waited till after the cars were gone but it flew good i mean i was actually impressed with the way it handled especially on uh mode three so the speed turned which is going to be a faster fast. speed for it now when i flew it i put it back on mode one and then there weren't many cars and stuff out of it but it was pretty stable to say the least for it. So they got a pretty good product. It's a little bit better than the other one they sell. This is about 188, the other is about 100 bucks. But it's some of the tricking and stuff, which if you want to see some of that, just go to, that's where he's going to flip it upside down. He's kind of playing with it here. But if you go to five minutes and probably 52 seconds, you'll see it do some of the flips and stuff. I got for this car. So as he continues to fly this one, I was trying to keep him to stay in one place just to see how stable it is and he moved it around a little bit. And you see that's showing the stabilization of it there. 
he didn't have to keep his hand on anything like that so we wanted to show that to you to make sure you guys saw that new that this is a pretty good helicopter for the price for it uh, the stabilization everything is fine like I said he's I think this is where we had it in mode 3 where it was able to fight against the wind a little bit better because of course it was a little bit faster then I think and maybe part of this he flew off we were trying to check the distance of it too and it actually has a functionality of course when it starts to get low the radio starts to beep and stuff and it comes back to you we never charge the battery up fully so we were getting about 15 minutes of flight or so. With this 15, 20 minutes, I think I think we were kind of going back and forth with it. So we never charged the battery up completely to test its flight duration. But there he is putting it on the land mode. You just hit the land button and there it is. It just landed pretty softly. Now here's going to be some of the stunts. There he is flipping it upside down. Flying it upside down was pretty cool. It drew, it drew a pretty good crowd there. Well, I don't hit nobody car. And then he's going to do a flip, but he's going to do it close to the ground. That's why I kind of only laughed at the very beginning. So you'll see this right here. See, <laughs> he almost ran into the ground. So this was pretty cool to fly. I mean, it's just something new and unique. And if you're looking for something and you don't want their other version, I recommend spending a couple extra bucks and get this one because this one flew good. I mean, there I'm getting close-ups and stuff with it and all that. And I think it's good for someone that may be new to it. Just put it in mode one. And then if you want to get more speed on because it was pretty fast at mode three, you can turn it up to full speed. So anyway, there's going to be links in the description to this. You guys don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next videos. As always, I appreciate you guys watching.